90% of the city, and two-thirds of the population was killed. Uh, around 4,000 people were killed. So all of these buildings that we can see on the sides were built in the 18th century, so after the earthquake, because everything originally was destroyed. Yeah, after the collapse of Dubrovnik Republic in 1806, Dubrovnik became a part of France province, Napoleon was in charge, and after Napoleon we became a part of the post hungarian Empire. But definitely the most significant period is 500 years of Dubrovnik Republic existence. They were second richest country in the world, second highest GDP in the world, right after the Venetian Republic, third strongest maritime fleet. So they were extremely rich, extremely progressive trading, salt production out of the sea. Those were the reasons why they were so rich and successful. Money they were earning trading, merchants, yeah, and salt from the sea. They were getting salt. So, all the side streets uh, are full of steps, so Dubrovnik Old Town is the city which has the highest number of steps in the Old Town, so there are still residents living within the walls. There are around 980 people living within the walls. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so over here, this is the side street, which is the widest side street. The reason was because in Dubrovnik Republic they had wheat storage, so they had food supply. So in that way they needed a wider street for the horse carriages that they can cargo the yeah, in the summer months, this is extremely very crowded because Dubrovnik is one of the busiest Mediterranean ports. So everything is open, not closed like now. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> dear. <laughs> What us locals like to do when we come to the old town, we like to eat gelato here, ice cream, or pancakes. They have exquisite pancakes. So later on, if they are interested in some desserts, highly recommend them. The orange chairs, yeah, ice cream. Yeah, no yeah. 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 Where do you have some?